Hey there guys, what is going on tonight? I thought I would do a quick little video here, just hanging out on the deck here on a, a Sunday evening with a couple of my friends. Lucy, come over here and say hi to the people. Cody is here saying hi to the people. This is Cody the Courageous, one of our rescue dogs. And uh, you guys know Lucy Lou here. Lucy the weather dog, here she is. What's going on, Lucy? Do you want a treat? It's the only way I can get them to, you know, hang out with me. There you go. Do you like that? Is that good? Yeah. Um, a lot of you might have known that we got Lucy, the weather dog, several years ago. Here she is. And uh, she was a rescue. She is a mini golden doodle, right? Although I don't know. You've got a big personality. Her personality is extra large, though. Uh, and so we got her a few years ago. She was actually uh, destined to end up in a pet store. And um, her and her brothers and sisters, uh, unfortunately, got sick with a water parasite. So um, they did not end up at the pet store. They, By the time they were treated and cured of that, they um, were too old to be sent off to a pet store and they were too old to uh, basically be adopted. Uh, so the breeder released them to a rescue and we were able to uh, get her. Uh, Cody here, Cody's an interesting guy. He is uh, half Bashan, half Havanese. And he too was a rescue. Uh, someone had purchased Cody from a breeder during the COVID lockdown. And uh, that person, um, once, you know, they had Cody for about a year, uh, realized that Cody really didn't fit into their lifestyle. Um, so we ended up uh, getting Cody as a result. And he is just the sweetest dog. Um, when he came to our house here, you decided you were going to be, yeah, you were going to be alpha, right? You decided you were going to be alpha. Problem is this one... Lucy, the weather dog here, she's bigger and she's smarter. <laughs> she's a lot smarter. Of course, she is a mini golden doodle, so mini poodle and golden retriever. And so she is definitely a smart one. So poor Cody here came in thinking he was going to be alpha. No, you're not alpha, are you, Cody? You wish you were alpha, but you're not alpha. <laughs> you just kind of do what your big sister says. So that's that's Cody's life uh, right now. He kind of does what Lucy says. And they play a lot. They get along really well. At, at first, Lucy was, was not having it. She was upset that Cody was here. And um, basically, she got used to him. And now she absolutely loves him, and they play a lot together. They hang out a lot together. They, uh, she likes to spin him around on our uh, floors, our uh, hardwood floors in circles and spin him around and he loves it. He's, he's all about it, aren't you, buddy? Totally all about it. But yeah, we, this is the first time we have ever had two dogs at once. Um, so it's been interesting. Now, prior to Lucy, we had our, our old buddy Calvin who was a Bashan Frise. Uh, he was a purebred. My wife and I got him when he was uh, a young pup, and he was uh, the first uh, living thing we had to take care of that wasn't ourselves. <laughs> so it was a good a good bonding experience for both of us. But boy, Calvin, he lived about 20 years, or over 20 years. He was an old guy uh, by the time uh, he passed away, and uh, he was smaller than Cody. Cody's bigger than what Calvin was. He's got Havanese and Bashan. Calvin was pure Bashan. He was only about 12 pounds. Cody's about 30 pounds. Uh, Lucy, the weather dog over there, she runs uh, about 40 pounds is what she is. Uh, she's active. She needs lots of mental stimulation, uh, lots of exercise. Nothing is better uh, to her. Yeah, what's going on? You guys, go get him, guys. Go get him. Nothing's better to her than uh, basically chasing a Frisbee. That's her big thing. You guys, what's going on over here, guys? You guys see something? You're hearing the other dog down the, down the way barking. 
She loves chasing Frisbees and she loves water. Probably a lot of the golden retriever in her. Um, so she is uh, really, really in love with being active, chasing the Frisbee. She's got a great eye mouth coordination, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, she can snag a Frisbee or a ball out of thin air. Uh, Cody, my little buddy down here. Um, Cody, you don't quite have those talents, do you? You're, you don't, you're not athletic. You're not extremely intelligent. I would say you're of average intelligence, um, but you are a little sweetheart. He's cool. He just likes to be petted. He's kind of turned into the perfect lap dog. And you know, like many rescues, um, Lucy was young enough when she came to us that um, she bonded with our family right away and it, it was not a problem. Cody though, uh, he was a year old when he came to us um, so he had a lot more difficulty, uh, bonding with us. It took him a while, uh, before he bonded with us. And now, I mean, he is absolutely just a little sweetheart, aren't you? Here, you want another one? There you go. You're going to spoil your appetite for dinner, but that's okay. So he's, he's been a sweetheart though. Uh, he's finally bonded with us. Uh, some of you might've seen on, on Facebook the other day. Yesterday, I posted that I was flower shopping with my wife. So I'll show you some of the flowers that she planted today. Um, I did not help her plant these because it's kind of a therapeutic thing that she likes to do herself. So there's some of the, uh, the flowers that she's got out here beautifying our deck, getting ready for the summer. We spent like all day yesterday kind of cleaning up the deck out here. There's some more of the flowers that uh, she has planted. She did a good job with this. I'm not, I don't have a green thumb. Um, I've got the black thumbs of death that kill every, here, Lucy. There you go, sweetie. I've got the black thumbs of death that, that tend to kill every single uh, plant that I come into contact with. So not something that uh, I have a whole lot of luck with. Anyway, just wanted to make this video because I'm um, going to be starting, well, I've started, I started a YouTube channel many years ago, back when YouTube first started in uh, like 2006 or 2007, I want to say, and I didn't do a whole lot with it, um, but I'm going to start doing a lot more things on YouTube because YouTube tends to be a little better for video. Um, and, you know, as someone who makes a living on television, video is kind of my thing. Now, somebody pointed out to me that, that Facebook is favoring uh, more vertical videos that you take with your phone, like if I move it this way, um, and shorter videos, um, like less than a minute. And that's what Facebook is. They try to compete with TikTok or Instagram. You know, that's kind of what they're going to. Um, I tend to be more in favor of long form videos, uh, continuing weather coverage, uh, more long form videos, long uh, form stories. I'm not a TikTok short video kind of person by any means. I know our attention spans are getting shorter uh, in this world, and you know those short videos kind of rule the roost uh, right now. And people consume lots of short videos, lots of content. My brain doesn't work that way, folks. Um, so I do have a TikTok page as well, but oh, something's going on. They took off. I have a TikTok page as well, but it's like one video that I did, and that's it. Oh, it's, something's down there that they're chasing. I don't know if it's a deer or what it is. I have no idea. I have a fenced yard, so... And they kind of stay at that. By the way, the fence, single greatest investment that we've ever made. Single greatest investment we've ever made. Yeah, I think there was a, a deer uh, kind of walking down just outside of our property line there that the dogs have uh, decided <laughs> they're going to chase. I don't know if you can see them down there running around. They're chasing whatever it is. Anyway, I wanted to uh, just come on here, make a quick video. If you've stayed with me this long, 
uh, thank you very much. But this is something I plan on doing uh, a lot more in the days ahead, not just weather content, uh, but also just personal content and, you know, stuff that I think is fun. Like the dogs chasing something down at the end of the yard, which I don't know what they're chasing. Maybe we should go down here and find out. Let's go see. Let's go see if we can see what they're chasing down here. My yard is really hilly. Uh, lots of hills in my yard. So let's go see if we can figure out what they see down here. It looked like a deer to me. Is there a deer down here, Lucy? Is that what you're saying? Find out. What do you see, Cody? What do you see, Cody? <laughs> no idea. No idea what's down here. What do you guys see? Now, whatever it is, it's gone. It's gone. You know, uh, we did have, once we had a, a coyote back here um, that was on the other side of our fence. And we always watch the dogs at night uh, when we come out here. And this coyote um, was not afraid of Lucy. Lucy was not afraid of the coyote. It was, it was about the same size as her, maybe slightly bigger than her. Um, but I, I scared it off when I came down here. Um, so, yeah, you got to watch the dogs out here. Usually you don't see coyotes at this time of night. Usually they wait till after dark to do their thing. But um, we've, we've had that issue before. Anyway, Lucy, can you say goodbye to the people? Can you say goodbye to the people? Say goodbye, people. Goodbye to the people. She says goodbye. Cody, come here, Cody. Say goodbye to the people, Cody. Say goodbye to the people. See, they have a blast just running around. And there they go. Anyway, I want to thank all of my subscribers here that have come onto YouTube. This is a new thing. Um, it should be interesting to see me kind of go down this rabbit hole and see what happens. I have no idea what is going to happen with YouTube, but I think all of you took time out of your day uh, to subscribe. Uh, I'm not going to stop posting to Facebook but I think one of the things I'm gonna do is have a lot more original content on YouTube. Um, just trying that out. I, my goal is, is just to reach as many of you as possible. And sometimes Facebook lately hasn't been uh, too terribly good uh, with that. So that's my goal now, to reach as many of you as possible. And so hopefully um, YouTube gives me a way to do that. So let's hope that's the case. Yeah, they're, they're having fun down there. Dogs. Cody's got a big bark for a little dude. Really big bark. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday night. Take care.